good morning everyone i am dr pradeep kumar md general medicine i am working as consultant here in manikanta clinic patwalsa vijayanagaram district our today's discussion will be on what high blood pressure is and how to prevent it generally everyone would like to have a healthy or normal blood pressure but what exactly does it mean basically each time when the heart beats it pumps blood into the blood vessels this creates pressure against the walls of the blood vessel this is for blood pressure normally in a healthy person it rises and falls throughout the day but when blood pressure remains high for a longer time and left untreated it can lead to serious health complications in general persistent increase in blood pressure higher than the normal blood pressure is nothing but hypertension high blood pressure usually develops over time it can happen because of unhealthy lifestyle choices for example not having enough regular physical activity obesity smoking high alcohol consumption and stress etc age as people get older the arteries can stiffen up and narrow as excess fat builds up family history of high blood pressure one or more closely family members with hypertension increases the risk for person to develop hypertension not eating enough foods with potassium can increase blood pressure and the risk of stroke and kidney disease eating processed and fatty foods increases fats throughout the day and make the heart work harder to push the blood toward the body hence causing blood pressure to rise on the other hand lack of physical activity is also linked to obesity and further it will increase the blood pressure another one is stress reacting to stress in unhealthy ways or not managing stress can increase the blood pressure so moving on to hypertension signs and symptoms so hypertension does not have any obvious signs and symptoms which is why it is often called as silent killer it puts people at risk for several diseases from cardiovascular to renal failure stroke and even eye damage eye damage and blindness hence early and accurate diagnosis is very important in the management of hypertension measuring the blood pressure is the only way to know whether the person have high blood pressure or not generally when symptoms do occur like morning headaches or tiredness vision changes buzzing in the ear fatigue nausea or vomiting See, if person is experiencing some of these symptoms then one should get their blood pressure checked fortunately high blood pressure can be easily diagnosed your blood pressure is one of the easiest and simplest diagnostic tool which can tell one so much about their current and future health status it is usually measured with an instrument called sphygmomanometer a blood pressure is recorded in two numbers uh, systolic and diastolic now let's try to understand what do these numbers actually mean a healthy or normal blood pressure should be lower than 120 by 80 or it can also read as 120 or 80 mm hg here the upper number indicates systolic blood pressure which means pressure in the blood vessels when the heart contracts whereas the number that is on the lower side indicates diastolic blood pressure which means the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart rests between the beats if blood pressure level is more than 140 by 90 then the person is said to have hypertension if person have bp levels higher than this level then he or she might be at risk of developing serious heart diseases this risk can be prevented and can be reduced by taking steps towards a healthier lifestyle such as regular exercise healthy diet quit smoking and reduce alcohol intake regular blood pressure monitoring stress management and adherence to medicines if blood pressure is successfully controlled with such lifestyle modifications then it might avoid or delay or reduce the need for these medications so let's take a look at these strategies one by one number 
regular exercise or physical activity. Exercise can be a drug-free approach to lowering blood pressure. Like regular physical activity makes person's heart stronger. If one has a strong and healthy heart, it can pump more blood with less effort. So if heart has to work less to pump, the force on the blood vessel will decrease and lowers the blood pressure. In other case, as we all are aware that age and weight gain are the two major risk factors for high BP. So if the blood pressure is at a desired level, that is less than 120 by 80, then excess can help prevent it from raising as you age. Regular excess also helps you to maintain a healthy weight, which is in my opinion, an important way to control blood pressure. One should aim for at least 30 minutes of aerobic activity most days of a week. High BP level can be reduced by doing regular structural exercises such as brisk walking, jogging, swimming, etc. Number two, healthy diet. Diet also plays important role in controlling blood pressure. A diet with a high intake of vegetables, fruits and whole grains is recommended for hypertensive patients. For lowering blood pressure or preventing hypertension through dietary intervention, one can adapt a dietary pattern such as DASH diet or Mediterranean diet, eating less saturated or uh, total fats, getting plenty of potassium, limiting the amount of sodium and limiting alcohol consumption. DASH means it is a dietary approach to stop hypertension diet. So eating a DASH diet that is rich in uh, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and uh, low fat dairy products and skims on saturated fat and cholesterol can lower one's uh, blood pressure by up to 11 mm if having high blood pressure. Even a small reduction in the sodium in the diet can improve the heart's health and reduce blood pressure by about 5 mm to 6 mm if you have high blood pressure. <laughs> to decrease sodium in your diet, you can consider tips like reading food labels. If possible, choose low sodium alternatives of the foods and beverages you normally buy. Eat low processed foods. Only a small amount of sodium occurs naturally in foods. Most sodium is added during processing. So you can eat natural products. Don't add salt. See, just one level teaspoon of salt has 2,300 milligrams of sodium. Avoiding adding salt to food, use herbs or spices to add flavor to your food. By this, you can reduce your blood pressure. Number three, quit smoking and limit the amount of alcohol you drink. Stopping smoking helps your blood pressure return to normal. Quitting smoking can effectively reduce your risk of heart disease and improve your heart health. Drinking more than moderate amounts of alcohol can actually raise your blood pressure by several points. It can also reduce the effectiveness of your blood pressure medications. Hence, limited alcohol consumption is much needed in hypertensive patients. Number four, regular blood pressure monitoring. Some of the hypertensive patients check their blood pressure by visiting doctors. But it is not always possible for patients to visit doctors and check up their blood pressure. Hence, most often, I advise patients self-monitoring of their BP levels. Self-monitoring helps person to measure BP at different times throughout the day and over a longer period of time. It also assists doctors to get a more complete picture of a person's blood pressure readings at different times. Further helps us in better prediction of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality rather than single routine blood pressure measures that occur through a single clinical visit. Number five, stress management. By learning how to relax and manage stress can improve emotional and physical health and lowers high blood pressure. Stress management techniques include exercising, listening to music, focusing on something calm or peaceful, and meditating. Number six, adherence to medicines. A medicine to lower blood pressure may be recommended by doctor if your blood pressure is consistently high, usually above 140 by 9. 
Adherence to medicine is very important as it controls your blood pressure regularly. At last, I would like to suggest that there is nothing more precious than having a fit and healthy life. Adapting healthy lifestyle can help us to enjoy a long and happy life. High blood pressure can be prevented as well as controlled in many ways. Keeping blood pressure in the normal range is very important in preventing cardiovascular complications. It is very much possible to maintain normal blood pressure levels with regular monitoring and preventive care. Thank you.